In this video, I'm going to talk about custom intent audiences. I'll be covering how they work in theory, how they actually work, and some best practices to help you get the best results possible with your YouTube ads campaigns. My name is Kyle Sellerud. I'm the founder of Vid Hoarder, a powerful YouTube ads targeting tool to help you really narrow in on your ideal target customer. Click the link in the description to learn more. So let's talk about custom intent audiences. Google is actually phasing out the name custom intent audiences. At the time I'm publishing this video, it's actually pretty confusing because some accounts are still using custom intent audiences and then some accounts are using custom audiences and then within the custom audiences section, you need to select the option that says people who searched for any of these terms on Google. That specific option is the same as custom intent. Old dogs like me are probably always going to call these custom intent audiences, but I wanted to try to explain what's going on. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're still seeing the custom intent audience option or if your account just has the custom audience option. To set these up, you're going to add a list of keywords. Now, Google tells you to add keywords that your target customer would be searching for on google.com. Google then takes those keywords and creates a custom audience for you based on those keywords. So in theory, you're going to be targeting people who have recently been searching for the keywords that you include in the list. But that's not actually how it works. In fact, to quote Google, they say they'll show your ads to people likely to be interested in those keywords. So we can assume that that would include people who've recently been searching for those keywords, but it also includes a lot more people. Google is going to take a look at the characteristics of people who've actually searched for those keywords, and then they're going to match up additional people based on different matching characteristics. So even if I've never searched for one of those keywords, I might be put on that list if I have enough in common with people who have searched for those keywords. So you can create custom intent audiences using keywords that you add yourself, or you can use auto-created segments that Google system sets up for you based on your website and your campaign activity. Now, some of you might be thinking, aha, Kyle, I got you. You don't know what you're talking about because you can't use auto-created segments in YouTube campaigns. Kyle, you can only use auto-created segments in display campaigns. And of course, you would be wrong because while you can't add auto-generated segments directly when you're setting up a YouTube ad campaign, you can add them in a display campaign and then simply copy and paste them over and they'll work. Checkmate. Now you might not find the auto-generated segments to be very good. In fact, most of them probably won't be, but it is worth looking at because Google knows a lot. We can give them some credit and they may have come up with some targeting that might work for you that you simply haven't thought of. So check out the auto-generated segments in a display campaign. Just set up a new campaign if you have to. And then if you find some good ones, copy those over to your YouTube campaigns. Let's get back to custom intent audiences that we would create ourselves using keywords that we are adding. Google's recommendation on this is to add 300 to 500 keywords in a custom intent audience. And in that very same paragraph, they recommend using broad general keywords and not using really specific keywords. So kind of hard to do. If you're not using specific keywords, you're gonna have a really tough time adding 300 to 500 keywords. So I don't really know where Google gets that direction from, but I'm gonna tell you that's the bad direction. Let me tell you some best practices that I follow when setting up custom intent audiences. If you have 300 to 500 keywords, which usually you would not find that many, even if you're finding really specific ones, but let's say you do, you would not put all of those into one custom intent audience. 
Instead, you would want to separate them out by topic and create several custom intent audiences. Now, you don't need to force it and try to find hundreds of keywords. Maybe your target audience is only searching for a handful of keywords. If that's the case, just use what you find. Don't try to make up a bunch of keywords just because Google tells you you need 300. Instead, each custom intent audience that I build usually has between five and 50 keywords in it. And this is just based on intent. Sometimes there are a lot of different ways people might be searching for a particular topic. Sometimes there are only a handful of ways people would search for something. So if there is only a handful, then I'm only gonna put a handful of keywords into the audience. If there are a lot of related keywords, then I'll put all of them into an audience, but always make sure that your audiences are grouped together based on related keywords. And the key thing here is not the number of keywords, but it is the grouping of the keywords, the intent behind the keywords. You wanna put keywords with a certain intent together in one custom intent audience, keywords that perhaps have a different intent behind them, put those into a different custom intent audience. Because then you can see how the different audiences perform differently. You can focus on ones that are doing well. You can turn off audiences that perhaps are not doing well. I hope you learned a lot about custom intent audiences in this video. Are you using or have you used custom intent audiences before? Leave a comment, let me know if you've set these up basically how I just explained, or if you've set them up differently in the past. My name is Kyle Sullerud. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for Vid Hoarder. You can go see a demo of that right now and sign up. And of course, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.